Yo, what's going on guys? It's your boy Dobbs here, bringing you guys another shootout commentary. In this episode, we're going to be using the Boston Bruins. <laughs> I don't know why I just did that, but we are using the Bruins in this episode, guys. That is right. Um, I really want to talk about this team. I do, honestly do think they're the best team in the NHL. You guys are probably going to be like, you're a Red Wings fan. What are you talking about? Yes, I hate to admit it. The Red Wings are trailing off a bit. I'm always going to be a Red Wings fan, no matter what. But I have to say, the, oh, man, the Bruins, they just they're so good all around let me just pick them real quick i'm going the opposite way am i yeah derp derp but anyways we'll pick the bruins uh we'll I'll talk about them in just a second if this guy hits a there we go and uh, okay we'll edit the shoot so we got sega and bergeron so i like uh we gotta put in big z <laughs> gotta gotta put in big z look at that, 91 overall defensive defenseman sorry if i blew your eardrums out rest in peace headphone users um, but I had to do it. I had to. Lou Cheech. There we go. Chris Kelly. No, no, no. Should we put in Dougie? Ah, oh, he should have came to the Leafs. We, sh we could have had Dougie Hamilton, Tyler Sagan, but whatever. And Tuca in the cage. All right, let's go here. Um... But anyways, the Bruins, why I say they're the best team in the league? You guys are probably going to be like, oh, the Penguins, obviously. The Rangers. No, guys. No, no, no. It's not just about all this fancy offense. Um, The Bruins will always have D. You know that. The, the, you guys know Zidane Chara. All these forwards that can play um, the two-way style. They're always back playing defense. They all have huge size up front. Uh, not so much in Sagan, but their forwards like Bergeron, Lucic, Krejci, all these huge forwards. And the thing is, the they're physical. They can play a two-way style. And they can set up plays and score goals. They can do everything, these guys. And I'm not over-exaggerating. I'm not a Bruins fan whatsoever. But um, they can get it done. All right, should we do the one-hand windmill? Oh, all right. Um, I wouldn't say that should have went in, but whatever. And I shouldn't have hit it. I want to talk a bit more. But anyways, should we do... All right, what is this guy doing? Oh, my God. Jackass shot. And I played terrible goaltender. Just look at that stance. It looked like Scrivens out there. My God, on my goal line. But whatever. Why say they're the best team? They'll always have defense, right? They're physical. And they have size up front, obviously. And Bergeron is their first line uh, center. They won the Selkie over Datsuk, for Christ's sakes. That just shows you. But, um... Anyway, so who do we got up here? Is this uh, Bergeron? All right, there we go. I was just talking about Bergeron. All right, here we go. I can't really play it right. Should we jump over this guy? Yup, let's do it. Oh, I had, was that Hedberg or Broder? Oh, that's Broder, obviously. Look at the mask. That was a stupid question. But, um, yeah, Broder's out. But whatever. We're talking about the Bruins. But anyways, yeah, they always have defense. They always got the physicality. Oh, my God. I'm talking way too much. Uh, they got the physicality, obviously. And um, they will always, like, I don't know. I just, I'm so entertained watching these guys because they can do it all. Um, they can set up plays, score goals, all that stuff. And the way that Tuka Rask is playing right now, they can definitely be another contender. Um, they're obviously the 2011 and 12 champions, but they can definitely do it again. But Big Z, let's go here. Um, did my controller just die? W why is he deking? I was trying to do the Zetterberg deke. There we go. Okay, all right. And... Oh, put through the legs. Oh, he just tucks in. Cheeky Chara. Oh, Big Z, man. Oh, he's such a good defenseman. Um, I didn't even mean to do that, but <laughs> I'll take it. Jeez, bro, to retire already. Fucking Christ. He's such a good goalie, too. Uh, I don't know why I'm tripping him. But anyways, the Bruins, like, everyone just overlooks them. Uh, obviously, they won the cup, like, a couple years ago. Two years ago, I should say. But um, they could definitely do it again. I wouldn't say in the Penguins and stuff. But, man, like, they are playing outstanding. And look at that. Two caras with that glove. Oh, yeah. Let's see that again. Oh, yeah. I'm robbed, buddy. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. And um, they're in a perfect position. They always get good draft picks. Like, as you can see, Tyler Sagan, um... Dougie Hamilton he's playing alongside with Chara, but uh, big man Lucic. All right, let's go here. Uh, so they have uh, amazing prospects. They got Malcolm Subban in the draft, so they have another goaltender coming up. Um, but that was a jackass goal right there. So they have another goaltender coming up, really young, and um, all their forwards are like prime aged um, and even younger. Like Tyler Sagan's only 24, and he's so talented. He's only getting better, this guy. And um, they can all play a two-way style. That's what I like about the Bruins. So Bruins fans, you guys are in a perfect position right now. Your draft is really strong. Um, Char is going to retire soon eventually. But um, the defense, you guys are obviously going to have to pick up some defensive prospects sooner or later. And no, no, no. Hey, hey. 
Okay, <laughs> I was gonna say I don't want to dive on it and look like an idiot, but um, yeah, your draft strong, your contenders obviously. You won the cup two years ago, and I definitely think these guys can do it again. But uh, speak of the devil, Dougie Hamilton, you should have been on the Leafs. All right, let's start it off here. All right, come on, Hamilton, should we jump over this guy? Yeah, we'll do it. Oh, ah, oh, I went the wrong way. Whatever. And is the game over? No. Okay, it's still going, so I can talk a bit more. But, um, yeah, I just think they're the perfect team. They're on pace uh, for definitely a top two contender. Um, everyone's, like, ranting and raving about the Rangers. But, I mean, no one's looking at the Bruins. Well, obviously, there's Bruins fans. But I just think they deserve a lot more credit than they do. But uh, nice save. And that was a little over-exaggerated. Um, and the game's over. Jeez, would you look at that? But anyways, guys, um, any Bruins fans out there, how do you like your team? Would you make any certain trades? Do you like the way that Tuka Rask is playing right now? Um, I just think that they have made such good decisions. Like that trade with Tim Thomas, he's not coming back. He's going to be retiring soon. Um, they got a draft pick from the Islanders, so that's going to be another high pick, guys. So, like, you guys are such so smart at the draft. That's what I like. Um, all uh, mid-age prime players that play outstanding. And um, players that are even getting better, like Dougie Hamilton, your defensive prospect of the future. Tyler Sagan. You guys are looking really good. So you got young players, mid-age players all around. Uh, veteran leadership on the blue line. And try. I think you guys are the perfect team. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this episode. And any Bruins fans out there, like I said, comment down below. Tell me what you guys think about the team. If you agree with the things I say, maybe something I missed. But anyway, guys, I'm rambling on too much the shootouts over for like five minutes but um hopefully you guys enjoyed and be sure to like comment subscribe guys and i'll see you guys later peace